Hi, this is Shadi. I apologize for the clickbait, but this is actually the title of the book that we're going to be discussing. It's called New Style of Judo or Shinshiki Judo by Kanemitsu Yaichibe. The book dates back to 1926. For those of you who don't know, Kanemitsu is the inventor of the triangle choke and the knee bar. The one you are seeing in front of you is actually Tsunetane Oda, his arch nemesis, I would say. But Today we're going to be looking at Kanemitsu's book and the link of course will be in the description for you to check it out and we're going to see all sorts of positions developed or even invented by Kanemitsu himself. So the first one being is the knee on belly. Now the knee on belly is not new, you can see it on the right. Um, back in the Taisho period it was used as a dojime where you actually put your knee and then pull both collars suffocating your opponent. While here it is talked about being an intermediate position, after you pass guard, you use it to hold them down to prevent them from uh, re reversing or getting belly down and you get your dominant position or a submission. So the knee on belly is not an osaikomi unfortunately because as Travis Stevens said it's not stable but I do believe there could be uh, modifications to it where you actually make it stable very similar to uki gatame after a juji gatame so here you can see he passed guard used the knee on belly to hold him down and gets into a sankaku jime this is what the page was actually talking about so you are actually seeing here he's locking the triangle but after you pass guard it's very easy for a judoka to roll back and get belly down it is their first instinct while a knee on belly holds them down now uh, I do believe knee on belly should be back as an osaikomi as long as you hold the upper body diagonally. What do I mean? So for example here, this is not more stable than a knee on belly in my opinion. However, he does have a diagonal control. He's holding the waist from with one hand and the shoulder or the arm with the other and they are held diagonally. So if you hold the pants and the collar diagonally in knee on belly, it should be in my opinion osaikomi. Now the next one is the Tella Hiva guard. I do believe that Kanemitsu actually probably invented it himself. I recently reviewed um, Thus Judo Wins by Tsunetane Oda of 1920. There's no position. You see all types of guard passes, etc. But here, the Tella Hiva guard on the right, you can see it. Um, the description is as follows. It says, when the opponent is pulled in and the left foot is hung from the outside, of one's foot so here he's saying you put your foot, left foot on the outside of the right foot so that's a de la Hiva hook and right foot is placed on the lower abdomen one self pushes the opponent's right foot into the crotch so yeah he's basically telling you to push the leg back and then you continue to uh, bring them towards you and then push them away so it's basically a de la Hiva maintenance slash sweep he's talking uh, about so here it is the first ever documented de la Hiva guard dates back to 1926 uh, by Kanemitsu Yaichibe so here we have the triangle choke the knee bar and the de la Hiva guard all by the same man so I do believe this man should get way more credit than he deserves Oda has contributed greatly but also I would put Kanemitsu if not on the same level very close of what they contributed to Neiwaza. Uh, people like to say Tanabe is the father. I hardly and I greatly disagree because Tanabe, first of all, his reign was ended rather very early at the turn of the century. And also he is probably credited for what is called the uh, eel restraint and the snake and the frog. So it's basically about weight distribution and how to maintain top position which is very important till this day but everything else you should credit it to those two giants yeah Kanemitsu and Oda the next one here you see on the left you see the pens grab and holding them down and the underhook on the other side and pushing with your chest and shoulder on the lower abdomen to prevent them from turning in and becoming belly down that today is being called Satoshi Ishii guard pass it is not an over under pass but similar but you put your uh, pressure with your shoulders and chest while you are pinning down the legs here 
He's grabbing the skirt from the other side and pinning the leg with the pants. And here he is putting his shoulder on the stomach and then getting his legs over but keeping his head and shoulder on him and his chest to prevent him from stepping or re re reversing. And here you can get into Yoko Shiho Katami. So this guard pass dates back to at least 1926, worked and developed by Panimitsu Yaichibe. The double under, the over under, the stack pass, you can see them in Tsunetane Oda's book, which I covered very recently. I'll link it at the end. The next one here is the triangle choke. The triangle choke is a very controversial one. Um, the main story is that Kanemitsu Yaichibe developed it with his student Masaru Hayakawa. While some say that it was Matsuba that actually worked it before, they call it Matsuba Gatame and then they say that Yoko Sankaku, the entry from the side like Jidokas do today was actually developed by Oda. So hey, you had multiple people actually work on it. Masaru Hayakawa, Yaichibe and Matsuba and Oda. But I would say the bulk of the invention it's given here by Yaichibe. He's getting it from the stand-up when he pulls guard or Tomoe Nage and it fails. He can easily wrap it or from the guard as you saw in the photo in the previous from Neiwaza as you are working when you are both on the ground. So here, let's see the pull into Sankaku Jime here. You actually do a Hikikomi or guard pull into Sankaku Jime or Sankaku Gatame if you are extending the arm. Now, this one here is also a Sankaku Jime, but it is being done when someone puts you into Yoko Shiho Gatame or side control and they hold the skirt from underneath the leg. Here, let's see it in video. So they are holding you, you get the leg on top of their head and you actually get the tap. So whether it is one or multiple that worked on it, I would say Kanemitsu still contributed greatly to the triangle choke uh, and the de la Hiva and the knee bar. So uh, calling it de la Hiva at this point, in my opinion, is inaccurate, but still. Uh, the final one is the knee bar. If you don't know the story, the story is as follows. In 1916, the Ashigarami was banned targeting the knee and leg locks were still being used uh, in Kodokan. And then Kanemitsu came up with the knee bar in order to still attack and surprise Tsunetane Oda's team. But people were outraged because he was attacking the knee like Ashigarami. But Hajime Isogai, the main or head referee of the tournament, decided that it was legal. But then by 1925, all neck cranks or spine locks and leg locks were banned by the Kodokan until this day. So uh, this is mainly it. Uh, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. Also, consider supporting me on Patreon. I have exclusive content for the patrons only. I post there once a week. And of course, don't forget to check out Josh Simon's shop in the description below and the book. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.